This is Unit 2, Lesson 9, Simple Angle Theorems. All right, so first of all, we need to know what a theorem is. A theorem is a statement that has been proven using definitions, postulates, and or previously proven theorems. Okay, it's something that has been proved that we can use over and over again without having to reprove it every single time. So once a theorem has been proved, it can be used as a reason in proofs. Therefore, it's imperative to memorize these theorems. Okay, so our first theorem we just did on our homework on the last class. All right angles are congruent. That's a theorem. We proved that. Remember, angle A is 90 and angle B is 90, so they're equal to each other. So the nice thing about that is, now that we know the theorem, all right angles are congruent, if you say, oh, angle A and angle B are right angles, what automatically can we say about them? Well, if they're both right angles, is since all right angles are congruent, angle A is congruent to angle B. So if you automatically have right angles, you can automatically say they're congruent without having to prove that they're 90 degrees and all that stuff. So now there is another theorem that goes along with that. I kind of combine two theorems, a theorem together with a definition. A one we use a lot is perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines make right angles. Well, aren't all right angles congruent? Yes. So we can actually combine this theorem with the perpendicular definition to come up with Perpendicular lines form congruent right angles, and that's used a lot. So if you have two perpendicular lines, you can automatically say, oh, I have two sets of congruent right angles. So that is the first theorem that we have. Now moving on, the next theorem we have is all straight angles are congruent. This is basically the same thing as the right angle theorem, except instead of using right angles, we're going to use straight angles. So it's proved the same way as the right angle theorem. So instead of right angles, we're going to have straight angles, they would equal 180s. They're both equal to 180, so they're equal to each other. So basically, if you have two straight angles, A and B, this is a straight angle, this is a straight angle, they must be congruent to each other because they're both straight angles, they both equal 180 degrees. Okay, now, the next theorem that we have is linear pairs are supplementary. All right, now there's a longer way of saying this. A linear pair are two adjacent angles that make a straight line, okay? And so over here, for example, AOC and BOC make a line AOB. So these are two adjacent angles that make a straight line. Well, we want to prove that they're supplementary so that we don't have to reprove it every single time. All right, now, what does supplementary mean? It means they add up to 180. So we're trying to prove that the measure of angle AOC plus the measure of angle BOC is equal to 180. All right, now once we prove this, all we have to do is say, oh, we have a pair of linear pairs, they must be supplementary. So let's do the proof. All right, so what we have is our given is angle AOC, angle BOC, and we have line AOB. And that's given. So we have this angle AOC, we have this angle BOC, and we have line AOB. All right, so um, since this is a line, what do we know about uh, these two angles? Well, these two, or these two angles make up the line. So that means angle AOC plus angle BOC is equal to angle AOB. So these two together make up this line because that's partition. Okay, now what kind of angle is angle AOB right here? Well, angle AOB is a straight angle, so what does it measure? It measures 180 degrees. All right, because a straight angle measures 180 degrees. So now, between this statement here, number two, and number three, can I draw a conclusion? Well, notice right here we have AOB. Right here we have AOB. Can't we use substitution? Yep, we can. So we can say AOC plus BOC is equal to 180 by substitution. We plug that in for something else. Okay, look what we've just proved. We just proved that AOC and BOC add up to 180. So what do we know about them? They're going to be supplementary to each other. So we can say AOC is supplementary to BOC. 
because supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. So we have just proved this theorem. Okay, so now that we've proved this theorem, we can say if we have a linear pairs, automatically they're supplementary. So now if we said now we had AOC and BOC, we could automatically say, oh, they're supplementary because linear pairs are supplementary. So that's the beauty of the theorem. You don't have to reprove it every time. Okay, now uh, close to the linear pairs theorem is if you have complementary angles. This theorem isn't used a whole lot, but um, you can use it if, you, if you're in a jam. If two adjacent angles form a right angle. So if I were to create a right angle here, there's a right angle. These two angles right here would be complementary based on the same theorem that we just did with linear pairs. We could prove it the same way. So if you have a right angle or two adjacent angles that make a right angle, you could automatically say they're complementary. Okay, now the next theorem. If two angles are congruent, then their supplements are also congruent. So what we are saying on this is if we have two congruent angles, let's say we have angle one and angle four are congruent. All right, let's say angle one is uh, 80 degrees. All right, if one is supplementary to two, what would that make um, two? Well, that would make it 100 degrees. All right, now four is equal to one, so it's also 80 degrees. That would also make angle three 100 degrees. Well, if two angles are congruent, aren't their supplements also congruent? Yeah, they are. All right, now this is a numerical proof, which isn't what we want to do. We want to prove this using definitions and postulates. All right, so using this information that we have here, let's prove that two and three are congruent using our definitions. All right, I'm going to start with a supplementary. We have angle two is supplementary to angle one, and angle three is supplementary to angle four, and that's given. All right, what do we know about supplementary angles? Well, they add up to 180. All right, so that means the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle one is equal to 180. And the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 is also equal to 180 because they're supplementary. They add to 180. All right, now notice they're both equal to 180, so what are they equal to? They're equal to each other. Angle 2 plus angle 1 is equal to 3 plus 4. And what did we just use there? That is transitive on number 2. Okay, all right, so we applied this there. So now we have another given that 1 is equal to 4. And that's given. All right, now we're trying to end up with 2 is equal to 3. Well, we have 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 plus 4, and we know 1 is equal to 4. What can we do between statements 3 and 4 to get 2 is equal to 3? Well, can we subtract? So that would give me the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 3 by subtraction on numbers 3 and 4. Okay, so 2 is equal to 3 actually means angle 2 will be congruent to angle 3. So we just proved our theorem now. We just proved that 2 is congruent to 3. So now that we've proved this theorem, we can use it in a proof. All right, two angles are congruent. Their supplements are also congruent. All right, now this also works for um, complements and supplementary for both of them. If two angles are supplementary to the same angle, then they are congruent. That will be true as well. All right, now vertical angles are non-adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines. I have a picture here of intersecting lines, and there's four angles that are created. So non-adjacent means they are not next to. They are across from each other. Okay, so what would be one pair of vertical angles? All right, angle one, 
and angle 3. The only thing they have in common is their vertex. Notice they make a V. So angle 1 and angle 3 would be a pair of vertical angles. Okay, what's the other pair of vertical angles? Would be angle 2 and angle 4. Okay, now those are what vertical angles are. What do we know about them? They are congruent. You're actually going to prove that on your homework that the vertical angles are congruent. All right, so if we are given ABC and DBE, let me label them A, B, C, and D, B, E. All right, they are intersecting lines because the B is the same in both of them. All right, so by using this theorem, what conclusion can be drawn? Well, what's a pair of vertical angles? It would be, for example, ABE and CBD. Well, if they're vertical angles, what do we know about them? They're congruent. So by using this theorem, we can automatically say that ABE is congruent to CBD. Or what other pair of angles? Angle ABD is congruent to angle CBE. So these angles are congruent and these angles are congruent because vertical angles are congruent or intersecting lines form congruent vertical angles. All right, so now let's actually do a proof using some of these theorems. All right, we have line ABCD where ABP is congruent to DCP, DCP, which is right there. All right, that's what we have given. That's all we have. So on line ABCD, we have angle ABP is congruent to angle DCP. That's given. All right, now what we're trying to prove, what we don't know yet, is angle CBP, which is this angle right here, is congruent to angle BCP, which is this angle right here. All right, we want to prove that those two angles are congruent. All right, now what is the relationship between this angle and the green angle and this angle and the green angle? What do we know about them? They're supplementary. How do we know they're supplementary? Well, there are two adjacent angles that make a line, so that makes them linear pairs. Linear pairs are supplementary. Okay, so what can we say about the pairs? We can say angle ABP is supplementary to angle CBP. All right, because they're a linear pair. Now, same thing is also true for these two right here, so I'm going to put it on the same reason. Angle DCP is supplementary to angle BCP. So linear pairs are supplementary. We can say that these two angles are supplementary and these two angles are supplementary. All right, now, the other given that we had was that the two purple angles here are congruent. Don't we have a theorem back here about supplements? Let's look back here. Uh, was this one right here? If two angles are congruent, then their supplements are also congruent. Oh, let's look over here. Aren't these two angles right here congruent? Yeah, based on that. So my re uh, reason here, if two angles are congruent, their supplements are congruent. Okay, so if ABP and DCP are congruent and these two are supplementary to them, then angle CBP will be congruent to angle DCP. And that's what we wanted to prove. There it is. So you want to look for a relationship between your angles and, do, and figure out a way to get there. All right, so we're going to continue this on the next video, on the last problem. So please watch the next video as well.